What's up, y'all? So, uh, I got my part I was waiting for, and it's pretty sick. It's a uh, kind of an innovative piece, per se, um, but I put on my upper intercooler pipe, and uh, I was having the boost pipe blow off every once in a while because of the boost pressure building too quickly, um, and then uh, some other clamps and stuff. Um, I didn't take my front bumper off to... Um, properly seat the bottom clamp on the intercooler so um, basically I purchased something to maybe help our situation so um, check this bad boy out so this is a valve cover breather cap and what this does is basically the same thing as like a breather system does but um, it only opens up under boost pressure. So it acts as a normal oil cap under vacuum, but under boost pressure, it actually opens up and allows the crank case to vent. So what happens is there's in here, this ball that sits down um, while it's under vacuum and it prevents the um, oil from splashing and yada, yada, yada. And then when uh, the boost pressure kicks in, that ball, as you can see right there, uh, gets pushed up and then the air travels around it and allows the um, crank case um, pressure to be ventilated there so and it all ex escapes there through the uh, filter so um pretty slick piece um, we're gonna throw that on and we'll see if we see notice any differences or anything like that but uh, I think this is a really cool um, piece of technology and it's a great new way to you know vent the crank case somehow Alright, so we're in the garage and we are going to do the hard part, which is installing it. So, um, for those of you who haven't done something like this before, this is pretty tough stuff. So what you're going to do, you're going to go and you're going to grab your hood latch. You're going to pop the hood. I'm going to go ahead and come over here to your vehicular. You're going to pop that hood up. You're going to... Use your noggin to hold it for a second if you're holding the camera. And, uh, and you're going to put it right there. So um, what you got to do is you got you to grab this part and bring it with you to the engine bay. You got to remove the other part. And remove the old part. Okay. And I'm just going to do that. And then you got here your new part and you're just gonna take it down there and you're just gonna screw it right on like so and that's how you root and toot and do it so uh yeah pretty tough stuff but you know put some effort into it and you can knock it out pretty quick so no big deal but yeah, so that's how it works. Uh, let's give her a start up and just make sure it's working right. You know, on second thought, I ain't going to start it up because it's pointless. So, I mean, it's not going to do anything. But anyways, you guys get the point. It's installed. Um, I'm going to do some cruising here in a bit. So I'll, you know, give you some feedback in the next video and everything. But just something to, you know, kind of show you guys. So sick tech, you know. We've got some ventilation for the crankcase. And, you know, what else can you complain about? Absolutely nothing. So... All right, well, uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Uh, we'll be checking in with you next week. All right, we'll see you.